And you said coffee and tea. What about flavoring that, sure. right? Sounds pretty yummy. Well, those fancy coffee drinks don't have to be a once in a while thing. You can make that morning cup of joe a little more exciting at home with your own homemade syrup. So Charlie Sullivan with Resident Culture is here this morning to show us how. How are you? I'm doing great. How about yourself? Doing well. Glad that you're here. Um, because, you know, when you think about syrups, they do seem kind of fancy. Mm -hmm. I kind of like to leave it to the pros, but you're going to show us a way we can do this at home. Yeah, it's uh, it, it seems a little intimidating because you come into the shop and then there's all these different syrups. Right. And how did you guys learn how to make all these? How do you have the recipes? It's really a lot simpler than you think it is. So realistically, any syrup that you're getting in a coffee shop is going to be really based off of basic simple syrup recipe and realistically to make that you're going to want to put equal parts water okay and equal parts sugar okay. into a pot that's a lot of sugar it's equal parts trust that's, me yep, we yep, weigh yep. it out so Very give that good. a quick stir and you're going to turn on this just make this boil uh-huh um, then here comes the fun part okay you can make this any flavor you want to make it Okay. So essentially, uh, I'm choosing today to use lavender because okay. it's spring. This is uh, one of the syrups we're making in the shop currently for one of our uh, um, seasonals, the white chocolate lavender cappuccino. So you just throw whatever in there, mm -hmm. give it a good stir, and, and we're going it to it's it's take the flavor of this and impart it into that simple Whoa, syrup. Oh, I can smell that lavender. So yeah, this is a really great spring flavor. We really love it. But obviously, you can do vanilla, you can mm -hmm. do hazelnut, you can do all these different things. Um, um, I would say the easiest way to start at home is to use extracts. Okay. Just go, Amazon has any flavor extract you can think of. You can order that. Two days later, you're making your own syrups at home. That's what I was just about to ask you. So, for instance, if I did the sugar, the water, how much pure vanilla extract am I adding to it? Uh, realistically, maybe a tablespoon. Okay. Um, it's, we, we try to shy away from using extracts at the shop just uh -huh. because we approach coffee the way that, say, uh, Kyle earlier with Custom Shop approaches making cocktails. Yeah. We're going to use the best ingredients. Mm -hmm. We're going to take the extra effort to make sure we're using fresh vanilla bean paste and things like that to your coffee. Which is why, you know, when the pros do it, it does taste so it, good. Uh, yeah, but we're, we were just talking about Dollar Tree a minute ago. We're all trying to save a little yeah. bit more, and that's a way to kind of make some yeah, syrups too. Exactly. Which is cool. And we, once this boils, uh -huh. yeah, all you're going to do is let it cool because this will be hot. You can kind of feel it getting that way right now. Mm -hmm. Uh, and strain any solids that you put in there mm -hmm. out mm -hmm. and then just bottle it up in a mason jar or in a bottle with a spout and it's good to live in the fridge for up to a month. A month in the fridge? Yeah, 100%. Oh, that's good info, a month in the fridge. Um, you all have a really creative spring menu at Resident Culture Coffee. Yeah. Tell me um, how you come up with your menu. Um, so uh, me and my team really kind of collaborate on uh, different ideas of Number one, what people are going to want to drink, yeah. number one. But also, what can we do that's creative that nobody else is doing? So every single uh, spring, we generally have a few ideas that we just kind of throw at the wall and see if they stick. And normally, one of them works out pretty well. Uh -huh. And that's actually what I'm going to be making for you guys today. Let's do it. we got just yeah. under two minutes. We also, um, I'm going to let you make this first, and we'll show them some pictures of the other drinks. Yeah, what are you making for us? So this is the pineapple upside down matcha. Okay. Uh, the idea is based off of uh, the classic pineapple upside down cake. Yeah. Uh, so we make a syrup here in the shop. Uh, it's going to be pineapple. Uh, it's going to have some ground ginger. It's going to have like cinnamon, a little bit of vanilla bean Ooh, paste like we talked about. Yeah. So we're going to take that and we're going to drop it, it in. into our milk. And what kind, just out of curiosity, what kind of milk do you use? This is a, this is whole milk that we okay. use a, a, a dairy out of Julian, North Carolina oh. uh, called Homeland Creamery. Very, very great quality milk. Uh, they do great ice cream and things in the summer. So definitely check them out if you guys are looking to maybe get a little bit quality. Yeah, milk that's home. yummy. So once we get that in there, we're just going to give that a mix right mm, there. And as you can is. see, uh -huh. that pineapple has turned it yellow. And we're going to get some ice. Mm, but you just smell all the wonderful flavors exactly. coming out of that cup. And people can visit the shop seven days a week, right? The yes. coffee shop 7 is 7 a.m. to 4 p.m. every single day. So we're going to put that in there. And about how long do these drinks stay on the spring menu for? They will be there until the first day of summer. We try to okay. change over with the season just to make sure you guys all have time to have them. <gasps> Look how pretty this is. And then once we have that, we put our matcha on There's top. There's the matcha on top. And then like any classic oh pineapple upside down cake, you got to have a cherry on top. Put the cherry on top. Oh my goodness. Let me get a great picture of that. Okay, I'm going in for the sip here, okay? Absolutely. All right, here we go. 
Oh, that's yum. One. That's a lot of fun. Yes. Charlie, thank you so much. Let me put the information for Resident Culture Brewing on your screen. Of course, you can follow along at their handles on Instagram as well, the Resident Culture Coffee as well as Resident Culture South End. Yum, thank you for hanging out with us of today. Course. Thank you so much for having me. Yum, yum. Don't forget, this will be on the QC Kitchen app as well. That is free in your app store. Kristen, yum. It's, I bet yum. it's delicious. It it's looks so, good. so pretty. So good, I'm going back in. <laughs> okay, good. I'll send it over to you.